Um, this is kind of a deja vu moment for me because I've had to do this one time before. Um, there was a time when my husband was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Hope I get through this. Um, part of the process was having hospice come in. And in order to do that, you have to sign a do not resuscitate agreement. And he had to wear that band on his arm every day. And what it says is, there's no hope for you. You're done. And he couldn't wear jewelry. He just had that band. And it was summer and short sleeve pajamas. And it's just a stark reminder that you've made a decision that is really difficult. And in this body came a bill that said, um, you know, if somebody comes into the room and feels that they can save his life if he's choking or having a heart attack and they want to, to resuscitate him, they can supersede that decision that we made and do that. That was crushing to me to sit in a chair in this room and listen to my colleagues tell me that their choice, their moral choice was more important than the decision he and I made. But you're doing it again, and you're doing it to me again. I don't like talking about personal stuff because it's personal. I went through five pregnancies, and I have one child. My husband and I went to the doctor for my second pregnancy. And he said, you know, <clears throat> we went through the exam, as you do. And he said, you know, I need to talk to you in my office. That didn't sound good. I knew it wasn't good. So we get dressed, and we go there. And he said, here's the deal. This baby's going to be born sooner or later. But you're not going to have a live child. No, I can admit you tomorrow morning, and we can get this over with. Or you can wait until nature takes its course and I'll give you a few minutes to decide what to do. Abortion, we're talking abortion, that was the procedure that I could choose. Or just walk around like a time bomb, waiting for this child that we so desperately wanted to be born and die. Women don't want to grow up and have abortions. These are not choices that we like. And head at the time, he said, oh, and by the way, we want to do an ultrasound so you can know what this child looks like. Get familiar with this kid that you're not going to have. I'm appalled, just appalled, that you feel your morals, whatever your church dictates to you, has got to play out in my life. That's disgusting. The only amendment that didn't get offered today that should have was that a legislator be in the room. Some places, some decisions do not belong to you. You can't have them. You just can't. You can't hurt people this way. You aren't immune to it. Someday your daughter, your sister, maybe your wife, it's going to be faced with something like this. And then maybe I hope you remember this, because what you're doing is cruel, absolutely cruel. <laughs>